This is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire, and we are here at RSNA 2023. We are here in the booth of Spintech MRI, and we're here with Karen Holtzberger and John Siliberto. Thanks for being with us today. Oh, it's wonderful to be here, Brian. Thanks for having us, too. Thank you very much for having us. Appreciate it. So Spintech MRI has got some pretty novel solutions for MRI image processing. Karen, can you tell us a little bit about, about that? Of course, so Stage is a software platform that helps uh, reduce patient scans upwards of 30% across the different makes and manufacturers, really to help with patient comfort and reducing backlogs, whether it's in the inpatient with length of stay, whether it's with the outpatient, uh, re decreasing those backlogs, or really even with pediatrics, where many of the hospitals are faced with trying to reduce their sedation rates. Yeah, so, I mean, there's a lot of issues with MRI uh, from long scan times, you know, patient comfort, claustrophobia, dealing with stuff like that. So Stage kind of helps manage some of those, those workflow issues? Absolutely, we work in workflow across the manufacturers. It's an age old problem with MRI and all types of MRI and imaging. It's the challenge between long scan times that are uncomfortable for patients and getting that image clarity that the doctors need to be able to do their interpretations. What we do with Stage is we solve for both. You know, we are able to do an acquisition of 16 sequences in about five to seven minutes, depending on the resolution, really helping with patient comfort, the backlog issues that they face, and give the high clarity, image clarity that you need for the doctors to do those interpretations. Yeah. John, can you speak to some of the, the clinical applications for STAGE? What sort of MRI applications are, are radiologists finding it useful for? Yeah. So part of what STAGE produces is qualitative and quantitative output. So um, the nice part about this is depending upon diseases uh, like Parkinson's, we can use our FDA uh, approved QSM to look at the subthalamic nucleus. Um, so for like neurosurgeries, that's really important to be able to pinpoint that uh, for lead placement. Our SWI images um, are able to look at microhemorrhaging. Uh, lots of MRIs across the country don't even have SWI, so that comes part of what STAGE does. Um, we do things like PD maps, so you can look at CSF and water content for lesions. Um, so there's lots of different things you can use from a quantitative marker standpoint that STAGE produces. So it's not just speed. There's a lot of other things it provides to actually help diagnose and treat patients. Great. Now, Karen, can you talk a little bit about some of the milestones that we saw with uh, Spintech MRI this year? I think what I'm most excited about, and our as we you know we were FDA cleared now uh, for 21, we actually added a denoising uh, software called Crown. Um, to really able to help with the image clarity and uh, slight movement, subtle movement, um, to be able to address that. And then what I'm most proud about is our collaboration with Yale. One of the challenges that the health systems are facing today is the balance of not putting so much work on the radiologists, you know, dealing with their burnout since the pandemic, but also dealing with the backlog, this whole idea of balance. So working with Dr. Davis and the Yale team to really study the effectiveness of stage in a busy radiology department of really reducing the backlog, whether it's inpatient or outpatient, um, but also using the quantitative maps that John talked about to have a more effective diagnosis. How can maybe using a PD map or an R2 star map, this quantitative information to be able to help with that care pathway. We all know that technology has to start really filling the gaps for daily clinical practice in radiology and this is really where stage will really shine its light. And what are some of the highlights that you're talking about here at RSNA 2023? So again, the, the Yale collaboration, um, our continued work in pediatrics, one of the other challenges that we were talking to health systems about and we're working with a number of the pediatric hospitals is how do you reduce the sedation rates? You know, with our ability to be able to, you know, capture those patient scans in five to seven minutes, you really don't then have to sedate the child. You know, you can use the tools and techniques to be able to get an SWI or other quantitative maps to be able to make a more informed decisions. You know, these are the key things around risk, safety, and operations that the health systems need to be able to generate revenue, reduce these risk factors and safety factors to really benefit the patient and the patient outcomes. And what can we look forward to from uh, Spintech MRI uh, in 2024? 
continued innovation around our neuroimaging and, and the brain, but moving into spine. And uh, we also have a bleed report. One of the other things that we've heard from our clients is the quantification, identification of micro and macro bleeds in a report, especially with the dementia drugs that are coming out and to really help the Alzheimer's patients. And so as we continue to bring quantitative and qualitative information to the hands of the doctors. Great, well, Karen Holtzberger, John Siliberto, thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much, Brian. It's great to see you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. All right, signing off, signing off from RSNA 2023. My name is Brian Casey.